so it's Sunday and I don't feel like doing anything so I laid in bed until like 12.30 this morning and forced myself to get up and I went and cleaned my rabbit's cage so his cage is clean, hurrah! Um, I have a church zoom meeting in five minutes so I'll attend that and then I think I'll just slink on over to Jules's live stream and we'll go from there. See how I'm feeling. Redid my Kanban board so I took out all of the um, world building for my sci-fi that I had completed. I have my Souls of Atua and I have my horror section. So I have completed um, my Shipper Anthology, three stories for Cemetery Gates Media, and ten f horror flash fictions. Um, I think I have one more to go to finish 15 of them. And I'm, I finished draft one of my gothic romance, but I gotta do more than one draft. And I'm working on the last two for Cemetery Gates Media. So that is my Kanban board so far. Just hanging out. Being adorable. With his floopy floppy ears. <laughs> Sunday night and I just had a cream soda and some popcorn and I watched my Orla Hart anthology with my little sister and her son who is two <laughs> so it was great um, we watched the video and then we watched the video that she made for me which was sock puppets and it was so cute and I laughed so hard it was just what I needed to pick myself up it was so cute. So it was called No Show Nelly, and it's this little doll named Nelly, but she was inside a no show sock, so she could hide from the big socks that have bad breath and were threatening to eat her. It was so fun. Um, yes. So, great evening, thoroughly enjoyed it, and I have work in the morning, so it is time for sleep. Hello everyone. It is Monday night. I got off work and I went and had a massage, so that was lovely. Um, I can bend over without being in a lot of pain now, so that's good. Um, it is Austin K's live write-in right now, and I will be doing mine right after. So I... I'm looking forward to her prompt. It's my favorite part. And I gotta figure out what on earth I am writing tonight. So I'll catch up with you next. And this is the beautiful pumpkin I brought home with me. He's gonna be carved into a jack lantern timer. From Laura Nettles. The ghosts of the bodies I have snatched glare at me. I don't know what you're talking about, Margaret. I tell my new wife. She stares at me. I know your father forced you into that profession. Is he a mafia man? Is it because I had the mafia, the the up north accent over there? Mafia man. So welcome to the when no Monday. It's Monday. Monday night vlog. So we have a few people here, and a few people have gone to bed, but researching the Paris catacombs tonight, so good stuff. Devin says cheese. So right now it is after midnight. I am halfway through watching a YouTube video about some guys 
and one girl who went down into the catacombs for supposed to be 10 hours and it's really eerie and the doofuses just got split up in real life like in the catacombs because they were filming a bit and they got left behind it's like oh my gosh so I'm getting some really good vibes and some really good ideas by watching this footage for my um, short story of the Paris catacombs. So good stuff. Set is chewing on his cage again, demanding more food. He's already been fed. Too bad. So yes, it is time for bed. I'm gonna leave the video halfway done and finish it tomorrow. So, oh, tired. Oh, yep, so that is Monday. So I'm trying to sleep. After watching that catacombs video, a little creeped out. And Set keeps on moving the bathroom door, which is so creaky. And so I'm laying here listening to some Halloween lullabies and um, yeah, creaking door, things moving about because the rabbit is in the bathroom. It's like, I'm trying to sleep. Stop creeping me out. But yeah, I'll try to sleep again. Nice and gloomy like how I feel. It's Tuesday. It hasn't been very fun. You're lucky you're adorable. Alright everyone, it's Tuesday night. It was not very fun. Um, spent the whole night doing, trying to find health insurance and working on permanent residency, figuring if I, finding out that I don't even qualify because I don't have enough in savings. And uh, just found out that the COVID-19 people who were let go because of it funds like the this program for it ended three days ago so that's half of the money I was expecting gone so I'm just gonna be on employment insurance and so I was working on that application it turns out you can't submit it until the day like your last day of work so I can't do it till Friday and it's just been really stressful and disappointing and yeah, so that was Tuesday. Hopefully tomorrow goes better, but I don't know. We'll see.
Alright, it's Wednesday night. I got off late from work and worked on my website and cooked some dinner and need to look into the health insurance stuff more. So um, I wrote a little blurb about me as an author to put on the website. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, yeah, need to get my life under control. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Thursday night. I am off work and I have washed my hair. They double washed it for me last time when they haircut it so it would last longer, but it was time. And I have the shorter bits in front to help with shaping. So <laughs> we'll see how they go, but they're they really shrank up once they uh, were curly again. So, yeah. It's all wet. Super wet. Anyway. Um, so, tonight I am going to make cookies to bring to the lighting team. That is my last day with them tomorrow. So, I'm actually going to go into the studio have cookies with them, drop off my key, and um, get some paperwork. So that's on the agenda tomorrow. So today I've been journaling away in my October section of my journal, which I've been loving. Um, so it's all Universal Monsters. And um, there will be some other things like Nosferatu in there as well. Um, and, and yeah, let's get into the kitchen. So today we are going to be making poppy seed cookies. Hooray. I just broke my knife trying to cut butter.
isn't perfect. I guess I have to eat it. Oh no! making. I will bring them in tomorrow during the lunch break when I will commute to work, drop everything off, say hello, say goodbye, and then come back home and wrap it up. So ah, we'll, we'll see what the future holds. Alright, so I have my totals for September, what I did for Millwordy. So I did 51.8 hours out of 70. I got 16,812 words. I completed the flash fictions of uh, Cloak and Bones, The Locks of Bro, The Witch's Purge, and I finished the short stories of Jack Frost, called Frozen Retribution, and Halloween Night for the Orla Hart Anthology. And then I have drafted the flash fiction Snatched Ghost, Snowbank, Pigs for Slaughter, and Sunrise. Um, not too shabby for the world turning upside down and job-wise turning upside down. So um, I will see how October goes with being able to write full time and how that affects my goals because I don't know if I want to do the 50,000 for NaNoWriMo or if I want to go for 80,000 because I will have time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, lots of little progresses doing short stories right now. So this October, this month now, I'm going to be getting back into my sci-fi novel plus uh, two other stories, two short stories for submission for um, anthologies. So one for Far From Home and one from Boneyard Soup. So that is my goals. I want to brainstorm, not brainstorm, world build for about 30 more hours in Gates of Ascension, my sci-fi and complete those two. So one of them is 2 to 6k, the other one is 2 to 8k are the requirements. So I have some room to play. And yeah, I think that's it for tonight. This is Thursday, so I'll see you guys tomorrow on my last day of work. So I decided to try and find the full moon. I don't know if it's visible out here, but we'll see. Time. I have found the moon. I have gazed upon it. I accidentally walked across a few, t not not across, but like by a few homeless tents. But yes, I did some nighttime photography, so that was fun. And now it is time to go to sleep. And I'll see you all Friday. 
All right, so it is Friday, my last day. I just packed up all my cookies to take to work so I can, set is digging, so I can clear off my desk and return the fob. So let's go. I saw the light go down on Baker Street. Don't know exactly where she wants to be. Last cigarette broken fall The rain's gonna be really soon turned in my key and dropped off cookies, cleared off my desk, and time to start going home. All right, everybody, it's Friday, and it's about three o'clock, and I'm done. I'm done with work, I'm logged off. I am now a full-time writer until the next job comes around. So that was interesting. I just had, some Nacho Supreme for lunch that I made myself. Very good. And I do believe I've earned a nap. I uh, applied for the employment insurance this morning, so I'm not quite sure what I need to do next, but I'm tired and my head hurts, so it is nap time. So while watching Fan Fiction Friday, I made cheddar broccoli soup, and it's so good. I'm so happy. All right, so it is Friday night, and I'm about to go to bed, but I just wanted to show my journal. Um, so I've got some Frankenstein going on. Got some mummy going on. So fun stuff, fun stuff. Um, I'm really excited to just keep journaling in October. Got some um, Phantom of the Opera. Good old Lon Chaney Sr. Who's actually a creepy phantom. Got some Victorian or or like supposedly a Victorian bat outfit. And we got some vintage. So I'm really excited to be using my October section of my journal. So that's where most of my writing has been in for the last few days is just journaling. So um, excited to get into tomorrow where I will film my um, Preptober and Nano Goal video and start that process. And, um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's 11 at night and I took a nap, so I'm still not super tired yet, but I checked the Disney website and yesterday, like they didn't have it two days ago when I checked, but yesterday, apparently, they put up lighting positions for 2021. So I applied, so fingers crossed, hopefully this works out. I could go back to California 
be a California girl again and work at Disney, which would be amazing. It's for people who have less than five years of animation experience, which is me. So I have four and a half of visual effects experience, and uh, I have experience in college where I was paid to work on the college shorts, but not professional animation experience. So I qualify, so I'm really excited. And hopefully, hopefully this works out. I have applied to work at Disney so many times, at least six. Like, it has been years and years of applying for this company. So we'll see. But yes, that is my late Friday night and I'm really excited. So it's Saturday and I filmed, edited, and uploaded my really short Preptober and Nana Ramble Goal video. So that went well. And I cleaned the rabbit cage and I did some dishes and I had church meetings all day. So that was a long day. Um, yeah. So what else did I do? I cleared off my couch and I put some pumpkins on them just because they're cute. So I put four of them up there. Eh. Four. There we go. <laughs> so, yes. Um, that is what I did today. Oh, and I did groceries. So I am stocked. Um, yeah, gonna see how long I can make these groceries last. And um, I don't know how long the ice cream is gonna last, but Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of food storage in my closet of pasta and instant mashed potatoes and stuff like that because I was worried about the grocery stores and stuff when the pandemic first started happening. So I need to go through all of that food since I might be moving back to the States if I get this Disney job that I applied for. So, fingers crossed. Um, who knows what will happen. It doesn't start until February, so um, still a few months to go. And, mm, yep, that is my week. So, it was my last week working. I am now a full-time writer, and I am excited next week. After the whole go to Services Canada and get stuff figured out, after all that, to start diving into my world building and more horror short stories. So um, I think the first horror story I'm going to tackle will be the Far From Home anthology with the Paris Catacombs. I'm so excited. Um, I have some ideas and we'll see how long it ends up being. So really excited about that one. And yeah, that is the last week of September and the first couple days of October of Millwardy. So I got 50 hours, 50 something hours um, out of 70. So still have some improvement to do, some catching up to do, but I have the time now. So that's on the docket and I will see you guys all with some Preptober videos. So, see you later.